Joining us this week for the breakdown, uh, former Saints wide receiver Lance Moore, Saints Hall of Famer uh, Lance Moore. And Lance, you know, I, I guess there's no way to beat around the bush on this one. This has been a difficult season so far to, to stomach. I know you're a guy who loves his Saints, uh, but you're also a guy who's really, really honest about what he sees with his Saints. Uh, and so what are the things that you've seen so far this season with the Saints? I mean, you, you start out the season with a big win on the road in Atlanta, a game that was kind of back and forth. And then, you know, just kind of the um, way that the game ended, it's like, okay, man, we're building something special. And then to not really ever get it going consistently, that to me has been the most frustrating part. Um, but a, 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 a very talent rich roster but we've just had problems staying healthy. I mean, that's the, to me, that's the biggest thing. It's hard to really see what you have in a team if you can't field your, you know, your first string guys consistently. It's hard to be good. And I feel like that's been a big part of the reason why we are where we are right now. And thankfully, um, the rest of the division has been bad as well. Um, and, you know, nobody's got an above 500 record, which, at this time of year is really interesting to see, but it allows us to still have a chance. Yeah, you mentioned that, you know, Saints three and six going into the game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, obviously, uh, maybe Jarvis Landry comes back. Uh, maybe Marshawn Lattimore gets back soon, uh, but obviously no Michael Thomas, um, you know, and, and the losses seem to be piling up and had a, a, a decent amount of injuries in the Monday night game against Baltimore. As a matter of fact, you know, Senator Eric McCoy, uh, goes out of that game, which is huge, huge for this team. Linebacker Pete Werner goes out of that game. Uh, defensive end Marcus Davenport goes out of that game. Uh, what yep. will this team need to do to beat Pittsburgh? Uh, with the injuries, it's it's the same thing. It's always the next man up. Um, you know, th there's not going to be guys stepping into those roles that have as big a names. But, you know, I think Cesar Ruiz has had one of the best seasons out of anybody on this entire football team. And the fact that he was able to slide over to center and really kind of provide a little bit of, okay, we've got a guy here that knows what he's doing. He's been playing for, you know, several years now. And it's 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 not as like we're bringing in a guy that hasn't played at all. I mean, he was a, a longtime center in college. You know, it's, it's, it's concerning when you think about losing starters, but the other guy's got to step up and make plays. Lance, obviously uh, you were once a rookie. Uh, Chris Olave, at receiver for the Saints, uh, has had to carry a, a pretty heavy load without Michael Thomas and without Jarvis Landry. How's the rookie uh, receiver been handling everything this season? Well, yeah, I mean, that's one of the things with injuries, right? Somebody's got to step in and, and take over what, what you're missing from the guys that are hurt. And he's been as ever advertised or even better. Chris has really, in my mind, been a go-to guy underneath in the intermediate routes. We know he can take the top off, but now we also know that he can do the shorter things as well, which is really going to make him into a big-time complete receiver. Um, and that's that's a good part of, of the other guys not being able to be out there is, is him being able to develop, and I think develop even faster than he would have had they been healthy. Thank you, Lance, for joining us. Thanks, J.D. Thinking about you, brother. I appreciate it.